Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, enter into this sacred place of sanctuary. How many of you are excited about being in the presence of the Lord? Come on, his presence is powerful. His presence is mighty. As you're coming in, all of our online viewers, we're excited about tonight. This is night three of radical prayer. I mean, for the past couple of days, it's been something like, something like I can't explain. And every night it's been going higher and higher. And God has been blessing. God has been redefining uh, our, our lives. Uh, people are coming in with testimonies. Uh, people were worried about stuff. And they're like, you know what, prophet? I just feel so much better about my situation because I know God has his hands on this. Is this anybody's testament of faith that you know God's hand is on your situation? God's hand is on your life. For those of you that are online, why don't you just type that in the chat and just say God's hand. I know it's a lot, but you can chat this. God's hand is on my life. Somebody declare that tonight. God's hand is on my life. One more time. God's hand is on my life. The Bible says that blessed is a man who walketh not in the counsels of the ungodly. Something that prayer does, it keeps us from having to listen to a lot of negative information. And David said, blessed is that man that does not walk in counsel that's ungodly. Sometimes wisdom can sound good, but it ain't good. When God speaks, I want to prophesy this and declare this as foundation for the night. What God says will always stand. Mm. What God speaks will always supersede what anybody has ever said. I, I, I've noticed that some ideas are good for others, but they're not good for me. When God tells us to do something, it's because he wants to put a blessing in your hand. He wants to activate a blessing in your life. He wants to bless everything concerning you. Blessed is a man that standeth not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of a sinner. I want to say this tonight. Let nobody stand in your way from getting to the blessing that God has for your life. Somebody just declare, nobody stands in my way. I've got to get my blessing. I feel that strong. There's something you come to receive tonight. For those of you that are online, I know you want to receive this blessing. It's going to come to the screen. It's going to come to your phone, your iPad, your television. God's blessings are superseding and flowing unto you right now. Somebody declare, it is so. Somebody say, the blessings of the Lord, they make rich and they add no sorrow. Somebody declare, I am blessed. Somebody declare, I am blessed. Somebody say, I know I'm blessed. Somebody prophesy and say, I am what God says I am. I am the head. I am not the tail. I'm the lender and not the borrower. And say, I believe that. Clap your hands if you believe that God's going to do something radical in your life tonight. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh in this place. Let your anointing permeate. Let it flow. Let it do what it does best. Quicken us. Make us better. Bring the quality of life. Qualify the unqualified. Quicken us and make us better. Let us hear stuff we ain't never heard before. Let us have a sound, God, that has never hit the earth realm. Let us pull down those things that are in the spirit. Let this moment of prayer, worship, and prophecy be a night like no other night before. Miracles are going to happen right now. We stimulate the atmosphere for miracles. We permeate by the Spirit and blow this thing up, God, where people will be able to walk in and automatically be healed. We set an expectation. We set an anticipation that the hand of God is working right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray amen and amen. Before we jump into worship, if you're online, share, share, share. Get somebody on because we're getting ready to go to a higher place in God. Come on, praise team. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. We adore you. Lord, we bless you. We adore you. Yeah. 
There's nobody like you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We
You're wrong. 
know God just blessed them. Come on, church. Hands lifted all over this room. There's a special blessing that's getting me to fall upon you tonight. For every tear shall be wiped from your eyes. Every trial you've ever been through has accounted for something. And the spirit of the living God said, for I will do a new thing. Somebody say, God's going to do a new thing. I don't want old crumbs from yesterday. We don't want leftovers, God. Somebody declare, I don't want leftovers. I don't want yesterday's bread. I need today's bread. Somebody shout, daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. You know what that means? That daily provisions. God's going to meet your expectation with provision. How many people in the room need something from God? in moments like this, this is when God proves himself to be God because he sends provision. Daily bread comes with everything that you need as a source to obtain the blessing. Somebody declare, I'm going to obtain the blessing. Say it like you mean, I got to obtain this blessing. Now I want you to open your mouth and declare what blessing you want to receive right now. As you begin to pray, pray over that blessing. Come on, this is prayer. Here, come out. Domancho. What blessing do you need right now? Come on, sir. Come on, pray for that blessing. Pray for that blessing. Ask and it shall be given. Ma. Ask and it shall be given. Ma. Ask and it shall be given. No delay. Ask. Oko. And it shall be given. Ooh, that's a blessing. Ask. And it shall be given. No delay. Ask. And it shall be given. Continue to pray. 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 Hey. Uh, for those provisions, those victuals that God wants to give, you are supposed to prophetically eat different because of who you're connected to. I don't want you to ever think that your life is supposed to be normal. I don't want you to ever believe that you're supposed to live a mediocre life. Not when you're a king's kid. He gives daily bread. Uh, he gives provisions. He gives victuals. That means meat. Even when you're weak, I'm giving you something that can strengthen you back to health. Back to life. Begin to pray. Lift your hands. Come on. I'm teaching you how to pray. You can't fall short of your blessing. Even when the music ain't here and the folk ain't here, you got to know how to stand in the gap for yourself. When David had all kind of fiery darts coming against him, he had to know how to encourage himself. Family was against him. Friends were against him. Saul was against him. What's standing against you today will not stand against you tomorrow as you pray. I prophesy that over your life, what's coming against you right now will not be seen on tomorrow. How you pray today affects how you see God tomorrow. Victuals, provisions, renewed strength, health, and life is coming to you now. Somebody declares, coming to me now. Say it like you mean it's coming to me now. And it's coming without delay. It's coming without delay. I prophesy that your wait has come to an end because you waited. They that wait my, upon the Lord shall renew. I'm looking for somebody who weak but's ready to renew their strength. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being overwhelmed. I'm tired of stress. I'm tired of overthinking. I'm tired of the pain. I'm tired of focusing on the problems. I'm tired of looking at the people. Come on, worship him like you know God's doing it. Clap those hands radically. Come on. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Come on, clap before the Lord. Come on. Clap those hands. Clap those hands and pray. Clap those hands and pray. Clap them hands and pray. Our body in motion stays in motion. Our body in motion stays in motion. Come on, hold on. Come on, Come on. 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 Clap them. Clap them and pray. Clap and pray like you know victory is happening right now. Clap him like you know you praise him your way into something bigger than yourself. Caleb! Come on, praise team, one more time. Caleb! 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 
y'all believe that y'all are the chosen of God? Somebody say, I know that's right. I am the chosen of the Lord. That's why Satan hates you so bad. Keep that right there. I like that. Because you chose. Satan fights chosen people. <laughs> the key is you didn't choose yourself. God chose you. He chose you to be great. He chose you to be greater than any enemy. He prophetically aligned, strategically aligned certain enemies in your life to bring the best up out of you. See, sometimes suffering keeps you before God. See, anytime you're going to get to a greater level of success, Suffering has got to be in the mix. Are y'all too quiet for me? See, 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 real fighters know that the greater the challenge, the greater the triumph. I, I don't want to fight small potatoes. I, I don't want to be on the beginner level. I don't want to be on an inter, in, intermediate level. I like the expert level. God is about to bring you hear me by the spirit of God God is about to bring you an opponent and a challenger that's undefeated watch this revelation can God trust you with what the world has already labeled a champion when David fought Goliath Goliath was already rated and labeled a champion he had never been defeated out of a whole entire army. David was the only one that was not scared to fight. Now, I want to ask somebody this tonight. Are you a part of a scared army? Or are you going to be a one-man army? A one-woman army that don't mind who done said what, who undefeated, who a champion. I don't care how big you are, how tall you are, I ain't never scared. And watch David. When David came down there, David wasn't even trying to go fight. See, a lot of y'all, y'all got to understand, God is having you deliver something to somebody else who's already in the midst of a battle, but you're getting ready to take their position because God knows they heart too scary to fight what's in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. So David like, I'm going to deliver this bread and this cheese. But while he was delivering bread and cheese to scary soldiers, something rose up in him. Like what we waiting on? Oh, what we waiting for? Man, y'all been out here 40 days spitboxing with somebody I'm getting ready to defeat. See, your spitboxing days are over. Uh, the things you said you're going to do, you're going to start doing them. The things that God put in your heart, you're about to accomplish them. And ain't no Goliath going to stand in your way and keep you from accomplishing the things that God put in your heart. I, I prophesy some uprise in you. I prophesy some awakens up in you. I prophesy there's an awakening happening in your spirit right now because you're tired of looking at the giant. I'm tired of looking at Goliath. I'm tired of talking about Goliath. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm ready to fight. Do I got somebody in the room that's ready to fight? Do I got somebody in the room that's ready to pray? Do I have somebody who's ready to serve Jesus all the way? It's amazing that David, David couldn't even go fight Goliath without Saul's permission. Wow. See, they're still chained and command in the spirit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you got to go up the chain of command. You got to go up the ladder to get the approval. And Saul made a promise. He said, whoever defeats this giant, you get my daughter. 
man, you get the kingdom, you, you get the money, your entire family ain't never gonna want for nothing. Whoever defeats Goliath, you get everything. See, if you knew how much you were getting ready to receive for defeating the thing that's standing in front of you. See, that's why I don't let nobody try to get over on me. No, I got too much on the line. See, I don't have too much to lose. I've already lost everything. I got so much to gain now. I'm looking for somebody. This is going to be a season of gain. Ah, this is going to be a season of increase. God getting ready to give you the entire kingdom because you're strong enough to stand in there and say, I'll fight the battle. Listen. So what did David do? David standing in front of Saul. I'll fight him. I'll fight him. What's Saul do? Uh, here's, here's my helmet. Here's my armor. Let me, let me give you my sword. Let me give you my shield. And he puts it on David. And David like... Bruh, I can't fight in this. That's right. that don't, fit. don't let nobody put their garment and their covering on you, expecting you to fight how they would fight. Yeah. Let me prophetically declare everybody fight different. That's right. That's right. How you have fought is not how I fight. So Saul says. Saul says, okay, 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 I, I can't, I can't, I can't, all right, I'll take my armor back, I'll take my mail back, I'll take my sword back, I'll take my shield back. And David says, I'm going to go ahead and go fight, I'm going to go fight my way. Yeah, yeah. Let me prophesy this over your life in this season, fight your way. Yeah. See the rules of engagement, watch the revelation, there are no rules. All God expecting you to do is engage. Ah, uh, don't miss that in the spirit. Don't miss that in the spirit. See, prayer and prayer, we engage. There are no rules. You're trying to find a rhythm. You're trying to find a pattern. That's why we get stiff. But in the realm of the spirit, all you have to do is have engagement. Listen, he, he, he decides to fight. And, and, and when David goes out there, David goes out there to fight. David said, all right, you, you uncircumcised. See, he talked trash before he, he, he did what he needed to do. See, y'all play too much. See, I, I'm going to talk trash and back up the trash I talk. Oh, y'all got to be bold and radical when you fighting the demon. Come on here. Yeah, you uncircumcised Philistine. And what did, what, did, what did Goliath do? <laughs> what is this? Little boy, I'm some type of dog or something. So, so Goliath decides to start talking trash himself. And with inside of David, David knew, you, 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 you might not know me, but you about to know me by the God that I serve. Well. They don't need to know you by your name. They need to know you by who called you by name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so David said, all right, let me get these. Five smooth stones. I'm, I'm going to do what I do on a, on a regular. That's right. That's right. That's right. When you fight, you don't go learn new things. God will use the things you already know to get the job done. He took five smooth stones, put them in a statue. Here come, here, here come Goliath again. <laughs> it's amazing, your enemy will always try to back you down by antagonizing you with laughter. Let me speak to some young woman and young man in the room. Do not be despised by people who laugh at you. You know how many people have laughed at you? You know how many people like you being in the situation, the place that you are, thinking that you are already done, it's over, it's finito, it's final. Watch the Spirit of God. He took five smooth stones beyond all the laughter. An entire army looking at him. So you got to know prophetically, all eyes are on the church. 
All eyes are on the kingdom of God. What we going to do? We going to fight. Took five smooth stones. Goliath laughing. Army watching. He got all these promises. See, David wasn't even focused on what Saul promised him. See, I, don't focus on the money. Don't focus on the land. Don't focus on the jewelry. Don't focus on the houses, the cars, and the clothes. You focus on God using you. See, when God use you, nobody will be able to defeat you. Because you're not fighting me, you're fighting the God in me. This is engagement. He took five smooth stones. And as he took these five smooth stones, and Goliath laughed, and he thought about Saul, and he thought about the army, his daddy at home. You're supposed to be just down there delivering bread and cheese. How you get yourself into a situation where you're fighting who everybody else is afraid of? I did not give you a spirit of fear. Where in the world did fear access our spirit? I, the Bible said, I did not give you the spirit of fear. I gave you the spirit of power, love. Let me say that about love. Sometimes you got to enjoy defeating God's enemies. See, see, I enjoy defeating addictions and folk. Uh-oh, quiet. I, 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 I enjoy seeing families restored. I enjoy seeing people come back to their rightful mindset. I enjoy seeing prodigals come back home. I enjoy seeing people freed and delivered. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy defeating Satan. Why? He ain't got no power over me. He ain't got no power over you. For I've given you all power over the enemy. Somebody say, I got all power over the enemy. You got to understand that even when you pray, you have all power over the enemy. And what did David do? David, and we're going to get that tempo back up. Because I felt like we were marching into something. Give me some marching music. What we just had. I got my cool man shot. See, see, he had a different intensity and he believed in what God had assigned him to do. This un nasty, uncircumcised Philistine. See, I feel that way in my family, in my bloodline, with things that have happened. I'm, I'm not going to let what defeated others defeat me. I'd be a fool to let what took out my, all my other family members to take me out. You seen what it did to everybody else. Why you going to go try it? Why, why are you going to do that? Why are you going to keep looking back to the past when the future is right in front of you? What David said, okay, I'm going to take these five smooth stones. And David, with all power and with all strength and with all might, spiritually. David was 17 years old against a grown nine foot, nasty, hairy funky, uncircumcised Philistine laughing like what can you do to me? And David rose up and he said today I defy you in the name of the living God. And what does that do? He brought God into his situation. I defy you in the name of the true and living God. And today, I defy you. I destroy you. As a matter of fact, when, when you defy an enemy, the enemy don't define you because you defied it. You'll catch that later on. When you defy something, you give it the inability to be able to work. He was already, watch this, he was already defeated even before David pulled back the slingshot and released the stone because in the realm of the spirit, he took charge over Goliath's life. Yeah. Oh, I'm prophesying to somebody. Spiritually, you got to take charge over situations, any mountain that stands in your way. I defy you in the name of the living God. 
any issue any problem I defy you in the name of the living God this this thing will no longer run in my family this thing will no longer run in my bloodline poverty will not be my portion lack will not be my life mistakes will not be in my pathway I'm prophesying to somebody I'm not gonna be depressed I'm not going to be lonely. I'm not going to be lost. I'm not going to be separated from the blessing today. I defy you in the name of the living God. And what did he do? What he had already done in the spiritual realm, he just pulled it back in the physical realm and released the stone. And when he released the stone, oh my shot, I heard the Lord say, when he released the chief cornerstone, y'all play too much with me. When he released the chief cornerstone, Cornerstone, his name is Jesus. Upon this rock, I'll build my church. I'm prophesying to somebody when you release your stone in prayer tonight, you're about to build something that's bigger than you, and your Goliath is getting ready to fall. Watch this not only is your Goliath getting ready to fall, but you're about to take the head off of Goliath. My God, I'm looking for 20 radical people. I'm about to cut the head of Goliath off. I'm going to make sure you're not just knocked out. I'm going to make sure you're dead. I'm going to make sure you're really defeated. You're not going to wake back up from this one. You got to tell Satan, you're not going to get back up from this one. This one's going to be a TKO. I'm taking your head back. I'm taking my life back. I'm taking God's plans back for my life. Why don't you take 30 seconds and take your life back in prayer? Take your life back in engagement. Take your life back in homage. Take everything back. I'm taking back the spoils. All it takes is one stone. All it takes is one stone. All it takes is one prayer. All it takes is one worship. All it takes is one hand clap. All it takes is one joy. All it takes is one peace. Come on, somebody give God one minute of praise. Like you know it's the greatest season of your life.
the devil, defy the devil, defy the devil, defy the devil. He can't win. He won't win. He can't win. He's already defeated every stronghold that's taken your life. Take your life back tonight. Every stronghold be eradicated. Come on and pray, 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 pray. Oh my. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory on your life. 
but the Spirit of God said today, oh, I shout out, today's your day in the name of Jesus. Oh, keep writing, keep writing, keep writing. Come on, come on. Y'all pray, y'all pray, y'all pray. We almost there. We almost there. We almost there. New grace. New glory. the devil. Uh, I ain't scared of no devil. I ain't 
Never scared of no devil. I say it again. I hate the devil. I hate the enemy. And he hates us because God loves us. We, he looks beyond our faults and tends to our need. He's tending. He's tending. He's tending. That's right. He's tending. That's right. You feel that? He's tending. He's tending. He's tending. He's tending. He's tending. He's tending. Go that way. He's tending. He's tending. That my show. Come on, sir. Ah. your time. It's your time. Somebody say this is my time. Oh. Ah. It's my time. It's my time. David didn't even know it was his time till God said it was his time. What God puts you in this week you ain't even going to see it coming. But what's coming is for your good. Get some my hold, Diamond. Take him in my hold in the front of him. He got a shakana man say. Let's close the song very quickly. Everybody online viewing, listen to the Spirit of God. He's not done with you yet. He's not done with you yet. There's so much more to the story. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with you yet. He's not done with you yet. There's so much more to the story. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with me, no. There's so much more to this story. He's not done with you yet. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with me yet. There's so much more to this story. There's so much more to this story. He's not done with you yet, no. He's not done with you, no. He's writing more to your story. He's writing more to your story. He's not done with you yet. He's not done with me yet. There's so much more. There's so much more. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with you yet. He's not done with you. He's not done with me. He's not done with me. There's so much more to this story. He 
he's not done with I'm alive because there's more I'm alive because there's more you're alive because there's more there is more there is more i hear the lord say i require more of you he said i'm requiring more of you some of you are here tonight you came in discouraged came in broken in need of an answer and the Lord says he's not done he says I'm not done with you no I'm not done with you no he says I'm speaking to the one that's stuck at the mistake he said the mistake wants to give you life you're stuck at the mistake and he said I was using the mistake to pull more out of you he says I'm requiring more the last test was for more you lost a loved one because there's more he says more strength more power more joy more peace but he says I'm not done with you no he says I'm not done with you no and so I need everybody just lift those hands in the room and just begin to speak to the father come on all over this building open up your mouth and worship him come on come on some of you you haven't spoken to him all night he says, but I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. Come on. He's requiring a sound out of you. Come on. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Oh. Oh. We give you more of you. We give you more of us in exchange for more of you, God. Give us more, give us more, give us more, give us more. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's more for you. There's more for you. You won't lack anything. There's more for you. Fire the Lord says for the harvest is plenty. He said there's more, there's more, there's more. There's more, there's more, there's more. We yield to the more that you have for us. We won't worry anymore because you're the God that gives us more. You're the God that gives us more. You're the God that gives us more. Hallelujah. Oh, you're the God that gives us more. You're the God that gives us more. Oh, we're ready, we're ready. You're preparing a place for us, Jesus, Lord. We're ready. Hallelujah, we're ready. We're ready. What you do, best, you're a way maker. 
Miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You're providing more. You're providing more. You're providing more, Lord. We're ready. Hallelujah. Increase us, Lord God. Enlarge our territories, oh God. We're ready. Father, when we get the more, God, help us to be disciplined. Help us to handle it the right way, God. We'll make you proud this time. We'll make you proud this time. Oh, 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 we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. For the more that you have for us. We're ready for the way that you're providing for us. We're ready. Hi, and ready. Oh, he's doing a greater work in you. He's doing a greater work in you. He's doing a greater work in you. He says, give me your heart. Yeah, the broken one, he said, give me your heart. He says, I'm renewing your mind. You won't think the way you've thought before. You're going to understand his ways. You're going to understand his ways. He's purifying you. He's purifying you. Oh, he says, I'm doing it all for the more that's on the way. Because he said, I got to get you right this time. Oh, by Shiki and the Osama. He said, the broken you, you won't be that anymore. He said, so whatever it is that you're holding on, give it to him. Because he says, I have something greater. God, take our spirit of heaviness and replace it with the garment of praise. That's the great exchange, God. And so we yield to it, oh God. Eh. He said, it's that thing. It's that thing. It's that thing that's keeping you from possessing what already has your name on it. He said, let it go tonight. Let it go. Let it go, 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 let it go. He says, I'm healing hearts tonight. He says, I'm healing hearts tonight. Yeah, he says, I'm doing it. He says, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I hear God says, I'm healing childhoods. Yes, yeah, so He said, let go of that spirit of guilt that you hold. He says, I'm here. He says, I'm here. I'm here. He told my Yes, Lord. So God, I get out of your way. So God, you can have your way. Stand on your word. Stand on your word. Your people are ready. Yes. They're yielded and they're still. Lord, have your way.
of you that are online that on your screen you want to sow into this type of anointing did God do something for somebody tonight did God do something for somebody tonight did God do something for somebody tonight I know he did something for me I feel so much better Ooh, I feel great my right, God for well, those of you in the house, you can come. As you're giving, as you're giving, as you're giving, as you're giving, as you come and give, we're going to pray you out and we're going to go. As you're giving, as you're giving, it's a good anointing. It's a good oil. And we're going to be right back tomorrow for another dose. Somebody say, I need another dose of this. My God, this is better than ever. This, my God, this is some good stuff. Ain't nothing better than Jesus. Nothing better than his power. Everybody around the world, around the world is giving and sowing. Sowing and giving, harvesting. Harvest is great. The harvest is great. As a man of God said, the harvest is great. 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 
harvest is great. Your 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 harvest is great. As you're giving online, your harvest is great. Your harvest is great. Your harvest is great. Y'all feel that spirit? Y'all new. I see y'all smiling. Y'all looking good. Some of y'all getting ready to go to the gym tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us had our, had our workout. We're going to be up all night talking about God. That's how the old services used to be. You get out of church and go home and have another church service. That's a good church. That's a good God. As you're giving and sowing, sowing and giving, sowing and giving, sowing and giving. Harvest is great. We love everybody online. We love everybody in the house. We know that God is doing something great. Father, we thank you for the seeds. We thank you for this house. We thank you for this transformation, what you're doing, elevating us to the next level. We're excited about what you have done tonight and what you're going to do tomorrow. It's going to be even crazier than it was tonight. We just going to level up, level up, level up to the next level, God. The dimensions you've made available to us. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow, 7.15 p.m. God bless you. Drive safe. Hallelujah to God.